Assalamu alaikum. Dear students, hope all of you are fine. Today I am uh, discussing about second portion of chapter 4. And in your previous class, you have uh, learned about first portion of chapter 4. What is the chapter 4? To learn the Quran magic. And today we will uh, discuss from page number 63 to 69 and today's lecture number is 4 so dear students let's start at first mark in the Quran Majid some letters are to be read in a long accent long accent meaning lomba sound like uh, if I uh, say long accent it is short accent actually but if i uh, say long accent that is called called long accent this short uh, of accent is called uh, this short of accent is called mud there are three letters of mud such as alif wa and ya Number one, if there is alif after jabber, then it is read in a long accent. For example, ma za, mi alif jabber ma, za alif jabber za, ma za. Two number, if there is a yeah, if there is ya with zazam after j, it is read in a little long accent for example kila look kila kap ya zir ki lam jabar la kila then three number if there is wa with zazam after fish it is read in a little long accent for example kulu look kulu okay and then again there are two types of mud there are two types of mud are used such as small mud which one is small mud look this one is called small mud and Second one is big mud. As a simple, this one is big mud. Then uh, um, next, zabar in the erect position. Zabar in the erect position on a letter. Second topic is zabar in the erect position on a letter. If there is a sign like but this one if there is a sign like this on a letter it is to be read in a little long accent for example twa with irek jabar ta ha with irek jabar ha ta ha then again second uh, rule irek jet Okay, if there is a sign like this under a letter, it is to be read in a little long accent. For example, look, ba zir bi ha with irek zir he, bi he. Third number, we know that page is like this one isn't it but reverse page is written like this if there is any reverse page on a letter it is to be read in a long accent then I want to tell about Tazvid or Tazvid the language of Quran is 
Arabic. And in the Salat, we have to recite some ayat from Quran. And it is essential to read the Holy Quran correct, uh, Holy Quran with correct pronunciation. If the pronunciation will not correct, the meaning will be changed. So, it is key for us. There are some rules to read the Holy Quran correctly, and these rules are called Tazweed. The great Prophet said, If you recite the Quran Majid, you will get 10, de 10 dewars uh, for every letter. Mane, tumi jodi Quran Majid, Adam Shuddha Babe Putte Paro, Tabe, Tumi, Tutita Horfer Juno, Dosta Kore, Niki Pabe. I am telling again, if you recite the Quran Majid, you will get 10 dewars for every letter. Makhraj. Arabic letters are pronounced from the different places of the mouth, such as short, tongue, palate, teeth, and lips. Short maniki, adum gola, hito tiki jay, awas kulo, amra kuri, then tongue, jeep, palate, ane, dadir, ki bito de, jay, gura tachin. Etaki, ki, palate bola hai. Then teeth, dad, kichu kichu word as you, dad di, uchon to her jeep take, that is a thing, 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 that is a is a thing, that is a thing, Okay, uh, the place of pronunciation of an Arabic letter is called makhraj. There are 17 makhrajes for the Arabic letters. We will, uh, you will know about this when you shall be grown up. Okay, jokun boro class se udbe, jokun abar e shampo ke aro beshi jante parbe. Okay, next one, eat gum. Two letters which are placed side by side are to be read joined together and this kind of reading is called idgam. For example, Fahum Muslimun. Dear students, uh, look at your book. Uh, there is about written idgam. Fahum Muslimun. For Arabic word, you uh, see your book. Okay. Fahum Muslim. Here, the letter mean of the first word has become idgam with the first letter mean of the second word. Okay. Then, second uh, second word is me rabbi. Here, noon has been made idgam with ra. And today, uh, the last topic is Izhar. What is Izhar? The meaning of Izhar is to express. It means to pronounce the letter clearly according to the makras of the letter. If, if after noon sakin and tanmin, there is any of the letters of halki, then Noon, Sakin and Tanwin should be read without Gumna and Ikfa but should be read according to Makras clearly and this short of reading is called Izhar. There are six letters of Halki. For example, For example, uh, Hamja, Lam, Ha, Kha, 
ein and gain so dear students uh, i hope you will learn be carefully this uh, page from 63 to 69 and try to understand okay and uh, with uh, there there are uh, lots of examples you can understand with the example that will be better for you okay so dear students uh, for today i am taking goodbye thank you allah peace stay fine